See if you can catch it. Hold it. Catch a duck and hold it challenge, Mikey B. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you could do it. <laughs> do it, man. Catch it. All. Maybe it'll get the old. We're gonna have a day of fishing here, me and El Mikey B. O. Right Hello here. There. We're gonna have a day of fishing. And uh, we're starting at the Coon Rapids Dam in Coon Rapids, Minnesota. On the, I don't know, the Coon Rapids side, I suppose this is, where there's a bit of a spillway. You can probably hear it in the background there. See that nice big spillway right there? So we're starting right here where the water's good and oxygenated. We're gonna see if we can pick up a couple fish. We're on a multi-species adventure today. We might go to a couple ponds. We're just gonna go in the metro area and just look for some fish. Look at these crazy ducks here. They come right up to you. I almost catch one with my hand. At any rate, Mikey B. No fear. Fish brain Shane. Let's go fishing. Let's go fishing. Let's go fishing now. What are you trying to get from me? I don't want nothing from you. You're gonna be dead. You're gonna be dead. <laughs> you and father, and brother, and father. You got a father? He's dead. <laughs> he got a father. He's dead. <laughs> yeah, okay, here you go. Here. 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 Don't bite me now. Don't bite me. Here. Come on. Look. It's a it's a minnow. You want the minnow? Put your hand on the ground. Here. Like this. Yeah. Here. Yeah, there you go. Here. <laughs> he bit my finger. <laughs> okay, back it up. No, no, Donald. Or is it, what is it, Denise? Denise, back up. Okay, come here, Denise. Here, here. Take it nicely now. There you go. Good girl. Go back in the water now. You've had enough. Don't follow me. Don't, hey, you can't have any more of my minnows. Actually, the mics. I'm giving Max minnows to you. You back up. Here, you want me to pat you on the head? I'll pat you on the head. I'll pat you on the face. Oh, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> it's okay, Denise. It's okay. You beat me the first time. You bite me the first time, I give you that. You can't bite me again. Don't, hey, I mean it. Don't bite me again. No, hey, hey don't bite. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, it's duck fishing, man. <laughs> Put your hand out, maybe he'll touch it. There he goes. Oh, he gets you. <laughs> He's a get you. Hey, Denise, why are you biting us on the fingers? All right, Denise. There you go. Yeah, you got a sharp little bite. <laughs> why is he gonna bite you? <laughs> He's gonna bite you again. Yep. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> See if you can catch it. Hold it. Catch a duck and hold it challenge, Mikey B. <laughs> I bet you can do it. <laughs> do it, man. Catch it, hold it. <laughs> catch it and hold it challenge. <laughs> <laughs> he scared the shit out of me. Uh, oh, sorry, Denise. Sorry. <laughs> uh, that was good. And uh, now you know not to trust us, Denise. Don't trust a man. A man will break your heart, Denise. Denise and her daughter have been visiting us. We, we didn't catch anything here fish wise, but we did catch some duck. Mike actually caught a, uh, <laughs> I think, is that your first hand caught wild duck? Wild duck, yes. Okay, wild duck. Farm before, but uh, wild? wild duck. Yeah, I mean, and it took a lot. I mean, we had to bait them in, we had to use minnows. Um, I don't know if plastics would have worked. Why don't you guys comment and let us know if you think just soft plastics would have worked maybe? I yeah. Think so. Okay, at any rate, we're gonna go to this other pond. See you in a bit. 
Oh, Mike's uh, coming down from getting the last of our stuff. We're at this little pond. Uh, you got to kind of walk down through the woods and it just opens up into this little old beaver dam. And apparently there's a good amount of bass. I love this area. So we're going to fish it. We're going to try it out and we're going to see. Right, Mike? We're going to see. Are you excited? Let's go fishing. <laughs> All right, we're going to go fishing. Oh, yeah. We got a good fish here. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty little fish. Look at this one. Barely hooked. Tiny little guy out of the tiny pond. There we go. Pretty little guy. Be nice to catch his like great grandfather's dad or or her his mom. I don't know something that is bigger than this. Go on back in there, fella. All right. So far, we've been getting some little micro fish in this little pond. Let's see if. We can get yet another micro fish. Well, this one feels a little better. This feels a little better, and it's in the it's in the stuff now. Come out of the stuff. There we go. There we go. That's a little better micro fish. Look at this one, huh? A little different uh, species there. That's what we like to see. Just El Gigantoid, the bass is what we'll call him. Look at the fat little belly on this guy. Look at the fat little belly. He eats well. Pretty little feller. All right. Well, let's get you back. I'll get another worm on, see if I can catch your mama. Or your mama's mama. Like the guys that are hiding right down in here. Yeah, there's a nice little spot over there. Where is it? Right there. Look at that spot. See how it's open right in between there? Let's check that out. There's a good spot there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, nice one. Look at that. Oh, hey, little fella. Oh, he's kind of facing the mud. Yeah. That's sweet. You're going the wrong way, man. Good catch, Mikey. Go. I'll distract them from you. Oh, look, I get. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, cute little guy. Shoreline Littles. Oh, well, he left. You saw him. Green sunfish. There we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <It's a rodeo. laughs> I got gotcha. you. I caught a mic fish. Oh, yeah. Let me see. So you're talking about your micro greens. You know what we should do today, Mike? We should go and we should actually go take a look at your little family farm at your house. What do you think of that? Cool, I'm down. Are you down for that? It's a lot of fun. It's, uh, I, I'm excited to go and see it. Guys, I've never seen it before, all of you at the channel. Um, I kind of sprung it on Mike today. We've been having a lot of fun. It's been a duck catching, uh, micro fish catching laughing a whole bunch being friends and just having a good time outside right buddy that's awesome. so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go check that out stick around Thanks. so i'm just gonna tie a simple loop knot here and what it is you just run it through like that you want to take this and just tie it around through three times so one two and then wrap it around one more time and this is a loop or a surgeon's knot, it, it's commonly called as well. Easy knot, very strong. It's going to give you that loop at the end. So you just pull it tight like that. And it's going to hang kind of perfectly sideways off that loop. And that's a loop knot. Oh, it got off in the weeds. Yeah. That was such a little one. Oh, that was a good one. This is a nice little spot right here. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I got off in the weeds again. Oh, no, oh my saying. God. I was just saying on the way up, I caught a branch. This tiny little guy got off. Oh, I had another one. <laughs> this is crazy. 
Oh, oh, that was that was like lightning. Yeah. Whatever just hit it there. Okay, I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. Oh yeah, that's one of them. Ooh, the old little bitty, hitty bitty, hitty bitty, hitty bitty, hitty bitty, hitty bitty. Here he is. That is a green sunfish. Beautiful little fish. Check that out. Now, it is not legal in Minnesota to use these for bait, but in other states, if you were catching them this size, you could use them for bait. One of the things we're going to do today when we go to Mikey's little farm visit is we are going to see his aquarium. He's got some really awesome little fish in there that he's caught actually out of this very pond, and he feeds them, and it is super cool. You got to see it. So uh, stick around, like I said, and let's let this guy go. See you later. I did this as a kid for hours. And and I gotta say, not even just as a kid, I've done this for hours. It's fun. To find a little spot. Oh. There was that little flash of lightning fish. Oh, I almost had one. Oh, I had that guy. There we go. That's a nice one. Look at this one, everybody. Very nice. Little bitty tiny guy. That's a small, small fish. I just want to be, I just want to be careful with them. <laughs> like when you catch one this small, I just feel like I have to be super delicate because they are so pretty. Look at that little fish. Look at how pretty he is. Green sunfish with a big old mouth. Hello, big feller. Hello. All right, we're gonna put him back. Come on back, little fella. See you later. Hey, Shane, <laughs> do you wanna see something? Bye! <laughs> I come in here and he's got trays with what looks like water and seeds. What is this, Mike? It's uh, so they're speckled peas and Israeli sunflower seeds. And there's about two pounds of Israeli sunflower seeds that are soaking right now. They need to soak for at least 24 hours. It's typically recommended, uh, but it just helps with germination. Okay. Um, so both peas and sunflowers are good to pre-soak before you plant them. And what we're trying to germinate here is right there, right? Yeah. Yep, so on the top shelf we have speckled peas and then a couple wow. different varieties. Look at how big these are. They are tall. Very tall. We're starting to perfect our growing process a little bit better. You can see full leaves on all of them here and uh, just nicer, fuller products, and I think it's the fluorescent lights. They're actually uh, grow lights that help with that. Yeah. So it's more natural. Um, for a while, I was just trying to grow them in sunlight. So Mike started telling me about this um, microgreens, and uh, I had never heard of it. I'm sure some of you have heard of this before, and maybe it's even old news for some of you, but I've never heard of this before, and then Mike started basically uh, a little indoor urban farm growing the microgreens. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. Yeah, it's awesome. Look, you yeah. can even see the little peas that were soaking before. Yeah. They're now germinated and have become the plants. We got a pretty good root system. That doesn't really give you a good shot of it there, but if you lift this up. Oh, there's two trays. Look at how cool are. that is. So we bought them, so we water from the bottom. Wow. And typically add about 15 ounces of water twice a day. Okay. Um, so it's, if you want to call it work, it's a lot of work, you know, to keep up with these trays. And this is really nothing. A lot of commercial growers uh, have much larger operations with hundreds of trays each week. Um, so we're just kind of getting started here, but it's been a fun adventure. So on the top shelf, you got speckled peas, then you got radish. Uh, this is champion radish, yellow mustard, uh, some more speckled peas, 
And then one of everybody's favorites, the sunflower. Oh, I love the sunflower. It's awesome. That's to me. That's the best one to eat raw. That's a nice one. And then what's this one? Uh, that's also radish. So champion radish, a couple sunflowers, and then just some that we harvested yesterday for a couple customers. Still have some left there. And then a full flat of sunflowers right there. That's awesome. And the seeds have to be taken off each individual plant. So whether you brush them like this and get all the seeds off that way or individually pull them off like the kids and I have done, um, they, you do have to pull them off before you consume them. Just for the best results. Absolutely. It's kind of fun. Fun little adventure. Looks awesome. Kids yeah. help a lot. Do you have fun with it, Johnny? Yeah. Johnny's excited. Yeah. So another cool thing that Mike has going on at his house, and he, uh, we talked about this a little bit at that little small pond lake, is that he's got some micro fish that he got, and that he is feeding different things to. And he's told me, and I've seen some uh, videos of this, but he's told me how excited they get when they see the food. So let's go ahead and check that out. They get super super excited so a lot of times if I just set this here they'll see it they'll notice it here in just a minute and start to get a little more riled up but they really like it oh yeah I see my hand coming over now this is kind of the bully in the group pushes everybody around even the bass and they're really just little green sunfish in a bass a little largemouth bass over here yep yeah Little large mouth is growing up. Oh, look at them. Yeah. They're following that worm up. Yeah. <laughs> oh. They're so excited. <laughs> and the large mouth is like, meow, meow. Should, should we put a little piece in there, guys? Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh. Did you see that? The large mouth was like, nope, that's mine. And then down below those rocks that you're looking at is a crayfish. Oh, they're starting to come up and get after the camera a little bit.
All right, I wanted to say thanks to Mike for hosting me uh, at his abode and showing me his little family farm. I mean, it's cool to be an urban farmer and be able to grow all those things and feed your family. And kids love it. Yeah, the kids absolutely love it. You can tell their, their faces just light up when they see it. And then that cool fish tank. I mean, the pond that we were at micro fishing, those fish came from there. So what a cool, awesome experience. And uh, you got to swim around with them a little bit. I uh, hope you enjoyed it at home. And you know what, for Mikey B and for me, Fish Brain Shane, out.